Alright, so I have the new Hisense A6 for about 3 months now and in that time I have chance to find out what's hidden inside of it. The A6 is the latest great looking LED TV from Hisense that can easily blend in the modern rooms. It brings HDR colors, faster gaming, HDMI bandwidth and it's packed with smart features. It also features more smart TV apps and many other improvements. So we have modern Bezel design, 4K HDR processor and built-in support for Dolby Vision. Aside from 55 inch model we have here, there are also bigger ones up to 65 inches if you want to be almighty. This is important. Unlike many TVs, Hisense comes with slightly more colorful box. Inside we have usual stuff like a stand, accessories package, remote, screws, power cable and of course a lovely manual instructions. Hisense appears to have figured out how to raise the bar with new thinner direct LED design. Like its predecessor, it employs similar thin bezels, the chassis and stand are lightweight despite being built around metal frame while its back has cool textured black finish. The screen rests on the nicely curved stand, capable of accommodating a compact sunbar in front. Otherwise it's easy to assemble this stand, so this side simply slot and click into place. This is very simple, those screws are still required. The A6 provides a decent number of inputs, it carries an 3 HDMI and 2 USB among its connections. This supports advanced features like ARC for sound and also gaming mode. More on that in the gaming section of the review. We also get optical and audio which is rare these days. If you still like to watch good old TV, you have terrestrial and satellite inputs for everybody else, there is smart wireless connectivity with latest Wi-Fi and Bluetooth 5. Here is the new remote that will shock anyone who thinks that TV remotes are boring. This remote has a lot of new buttons that come handy, like favorite mic and some shortcuts to the settings. Of course, it also has all the main streaming services and one special button for user favorite app. In general, the remote has a nice design and it looks like it will last a long time. The initial setup is simple and without complex questions. It is one of the fastest TVs to set up that I have ever tested. Just make sure you select the right language, country and setup will be completed in less than a minute. The home screen has a custom row of icons and it can recommend new videos to watch based on your preference or help you pick up where you left from history. When it comes to the Smart TV app's performance, the interface runs stably and rarely you see sluggish apps, though it can still happen if you have slow router or internet connection, so make sure you have upgraded your Wi-Fi. Unlike other Smart TV systems, Vida is faster than Android, yes, it's possible, especially in cold boot. Sadly, like many other light TV systems, it doesn't have everything, so it doesn't have so many apps like Android, but you still have all the major video stream apps and that's very important. There is also app gallery, so you can still download many interesting apps and games. And if that is not enough, you can still easily search for more with built-in web browser. It's worth to mention that Hisense has a good USB player app. It supports all latest codecs like X265 or X264. It also has some advanced options for easy customization so you can control subtitles, colors and fonts. There is also built-in possibility to streaming videos from your phone, so you can easily connect wirelessly your phone to the TV. The Hisense have VA and IPS panels in the 6 series, 
and they are all illuminated directly from behind. You can expect 30 bits colors from its picture processor, but color accuracy is average, because it has slightly more than 75% color gamut. As expected, 50 inch has better contrast in comparison with 55 inch IPS version, while viewing angle is the best on the 50 inch version. In the terms of picture uniformity, the screen looks decent and without destructible clouding or bleeding, though in white and grey picture tests there are still visible slight deviations. This is expected in the budget TV class. 4K motion processing is ok and comparable with a lot of similar priced TVs these days. In terms of HDR, it can be the QLED or ULED series, but it still has a respectable HDR picture while you're watching it in dimly lit room. While in a bright room, with its max brightness around 300 nits, it can't deliver a shocking lift in dynamic range. If you want to have the best picture, there are some things that you need to change slightly. That's why there are different picture profiles, so that you can adjust them to your own personal preferences. So if you want the best colors, go with a dynamic profile, or if you prefer more natural colors, go with cinema picture profile. You can still adjust and change some options if necessary in advanced picture settings. If you enable game mode, you will have the best performance for playing games. It has low input lag below 20 milliseconds. This is ok for casual gamers, but if you are a hardcore or professional gamer, you will need TV with less than 10 milliseconds. Minimum. Hisense A6 is equipped with two speakers below the screen, together they can achieve amazing 16 watts in... The speakers do a good job of simplifying mid-range and high frequencies, since while explosion and bass in general are slightly below average at the best, though it can still surprise with some clips. There is an easy way to improve sound folder with different sound profiles. Hisense TVs have always impressed from design standpoint. So even though A6H is entry level TV, it still has stylish bezels and sharp 4K screen. At glance, its smart TV system is fast and easy to navigate. Maybe it could have more apps, but nevertheless, it has what's important. Though it's still far from being the best everywhere, so if you want more brightness, it's worth mentioning ULED or Nano TVs. There is no doubt that this TV can easily rival almost any budget 4K smart TV and even some more expensive TVs. And that's why. It is an overall convincing proposition. That's it for today my friends, if you are still undecided or want to find out more about this TV, check out TechWatcher TV comparison videos. Thank you for watching and see you soon.